In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the oil pressure sender on your Subaru Outback. This will be located underneath the alternator. Let's get started. Using a pair of clip pliers, remove the two clips for this top trim piece. Remove the trim piece. Using a 15 millimeter wrench, we're going to get on the tensioner pulley, pull the tension off of the belt, pull the belt off a single pulley, let go of the tension. I'm only going to pull the top of the belt off here. I'm going to try and leave it connected on the bottom. If it comes off, it's okay. Using a 14 millimeter wrench, break the bolt free on the idler pulley. Remove the bolt and the idler. That'll give us space to get this alternator bolt out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the bolt for the bracket. We don't need to remove this, just loosen it. Using a 12 millimeter, there's a bolt on the other side. Go ahead and loosen that one. We're gonna remove this bolt. Remove the bolt, pull the bracket up. We're going to leave it connected to the harness and just let it flop here for a minute. Using a 12 millimeter socket, loosen the bolt on the alternator. Just get this loose, don't remove it. Once it's nice and loose, give the alternator a wiggle, lift it up off of this bracket right here, then we're going to pull it towards us. and put the alternator up on the side. We're gonna remove the connector for the oil pressure sender. Pinch the connector and pull straight up. Using a 24 millimeter socket, remove the sensor. Before installing the pressure sender, be sure to put a piece of Teflon tape, Teflon paste, or some of the liquid around the threads. In our case, we're going to be using the paste. Apply some to the outside of the threads. Install the sensor. Get it started by hand. The torque for the oil pressure sender is between 12 and 18 foot pounds. We're going to aim for 15 using a 26 millimeter socket. Right there feels pretty good to me. We landed at 16, 17 foot pounds. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Install the alternator. Slide the bolt into place. Get it all lined up. We're going to put this side bolt in first. Get it started by hand. Install the bracket onto the back of both of the bolts. Snug down the bolt. Snug down the bracket bolt. Snug down the bottom alternator bolt. Torque the 12 millimeter alternator bolts to 18 foot pounds. Install the pulley and the bolt. Torque the pulley bolt to 24 foot-pounds. 
install the belt. Pull the tension off the tensioner. Get the belt around the last pulley. Double check that it's riding in the correct grooves and on the correct flats. We're off right here on the crank. Install the plastic trim piece, get the clips clicked in, and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.